members of the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command, DEFCOM, Armament Center at Picatinny Arsenal, New Jersey, and Ground Vehicle Systems Center, GVSC, located in Detroit Arsenal, Michigan, joined together on a range at Fort Dix June 30th to perform a live-fire test of a robotic combat vehicle medium, RCVM, an experimental prototype under the Next Generation Combat Vehicle Cross-Functional Team, NGCVCFT. The tests focused on firing the RCVM SXM813 main gun, as well as its M240 machine gun, from an unmanned and wirelessly operated weapon station. We want to look at the integration of a turret, which was provided as government furnished equipment to the effort, onto the platform, said Mike Mara, an engineer in the remote weapons branch at Picatinny Arsenal. The RCVM program is a joint collaboration among the NGCVCFT, Product Manager Maneuver Combat Systems, PMMCS, Product Manager Soldier Lethality, PMSL, and Combat Capabilities Development Command. The RCVM platform includes products from Textron, How and How Technologies, FLIR, and Consberg Defense and Aerospace, KDA. The verification exercise ensured the stringent requirements for the turret and host platform were not only met by design, but also in reality. Although this system has been in the works for approximately 18 months, this was its first live-fire test. The RCVM Armament Systems Control Station was housed in a Mission Enabling Technologies Demonstrator, MIT-D. From there, crew members were able to move, shoot, and communicate through a mixture of touchscreen panels and physical controls. Several GVSC and Armament Center officials also visited the range to observe the demonstration, such as Michael Kadju, Director of GVSC, and Mark Ford, Director of the DEFCOM Armament Center Weapon Systems and Technology Directorate, among others. Christian Barra, a GVSC test engineer for the RCVM and MIT-D, said he also came from Michigan to observe how the guns performed from the test plan perspective and to ensure the quality of the systems were where they needed to be.